Hi everyone, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases and leads like the ones in the track Overdrive with Matrix and Graphics. So this is the original track. And these are the two sounds we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So, with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have initially patch, and let's create that first base. So, the first thing that we need is to have some greedy type of waveforms in our oscillators. The first one being a saw wave, of course. Then we can also load a wavetable called I Can Has Kick that has a really nice quality to it. And then boost both of these with lots of unison, creating a very messy layer. Now, let's bring the tune a little bit lower. Now let's add some noise to all of this. And if we add filtering here, we have the recipe for dance floor bass. But before doing that, let's just add one more filter, a low pass filter right here. Let's boost this filter a lot. And then let's bring the mix down. And this is how we're gonna add lots of really cool coloration to the sound. So let's just map a little LFO here. We can have the LFO stable like this or uh, rising, which is also uh, something cool. What I am going to do in this case, I'm just going to drag a curve like this and then I can fine tune it. Similar to having a value here, but with the difference that you can see how this can be very useful for uh, creating a unique version of the sound. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave it like I did it on the original patch, uh, and that was creating just a stable uh, line like this. But I just wanted to show you how cool of a sound you can get if you modulate the cutoff here. So I'm just going to fine tune this value right here. This should be good enough. And next, I'm going to go into the effects tab and turn on the distortion, boost it even more. And the super messy bass, once you filter all of this, you should get a pretty cool, plucky dance floor bass. So I'm gonna set this to eight notes, and then I'm just gonna fine tune this LFO. And as you can see, this is 80% of the sound right here. Now we just gotta add something like multiband compression after this. And I want to show you the really cool coloration trick that you can add to add some variety into the track. And that is to turn on the phaser. Now this phaser, you bring the rate all the way down. You will have complete control over the frequency knob. And here you can add an extra layer of formant into the sound. So for example, you can map a macro here into the mix and have the first two notes to play like that, but then bring it up to have a different coloration on the other notes which is really cool. So now we have those different expressions in the notes. And for example, maybe we can map this macro into the modulation or into the tension of this uh, LFO. Let's bring it down. And then let's just boost this macro when those last notes hit. So the first two notes are gonna be clean and then the others are going to have some type of coloration, which is really cool. And this can add a lot of variety and group to your track. So this is all the principles that create this type of sound. I encourage you to experiment with this. Of course, you can change the different wavetables. You can experiment with the different filters and all the movements that I showed you. And then all the different type of EQing and filtering that goes before all of this filter. Then also the shape of your actual LFO on the filter. As you can see, 
There's lots of cool things to explore in this type of bass. So I don't want to give you a fixed preset, a fixed sound. Instead, I want you to see all the key parameters that create this sound so you can create your own original version of this and improve your productions. So this is it for the first sound. Now let's explore the second sound. Okay, so for the second sound, this is going to be very, very simple. We just need a triangle wave on the sub and then two sine waves on top of that sub like this. Let's bring random face all the way down on both of them and place them at the beginning just so they don't face cancel each other so bad. So next we're going to tune this oscillators differently. So we're going to boost it three octaves and four semitones up. Okay, so now that we have these oscillators. Let's just add a little bit of noise. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the matrix and here in the matrix we're going to map LFO number one into the global amplitude of the sound. So we have an extra level knob here. We're going to bring this all the way up, turn it into bipolar. And now we can just simply add a shape like this. And we can have an extra control because now we're going to distort the sound a lot. And what we want to do with this modulation is to just keep the control over the dynamics of the sound. So let's just add distortion and let's boost the drive a lot. And that is 80% of the sound right there. Now it just needs further processing, which will be something like adding a hyper after. As you can hear, there's probably lots of reverb here. Maybe we can add this um, LFO to the mix of the reverb. And then let's add some chorus. Bring this down, change it to a high pass. And we can tighten up this curve. And as you can see, this is all it takes to create that very resonant, cool lead. From here, it's all post-processing and mixing this sound. So now let me show you some cool bits of post-processing on the sound. So the first thing, of course, will be to clean the sound by adding a notch on the high frequencies to select which harmonics do you really want to be the resonant ones. Then you can fill that little gap with noise. And then finally, we can add one more EQ just to clean our sound. In case we want to add a separate sub or accentuate other frequencies. But this is how you make that sound. Cool, so that's going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of our future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.